Hi everyone! Okay, welcome back to my channel. Hi, I'm Angie. Welcome to my little channel. And first and foremost, I just wanted to thank each and every one of you who has been watching my videos and who have subscribed to my channel because finally we are at a hundred subscribers and in some of my videos i've also told myself this that once i reach 100 subscribers i will be doing a giveaway and so today is that day we'll be doing two things today the first is i'm going to tell you about my giveaway and the second thing is as you can see i have makeup on very little makeup but i will be swatching these three lipsticks from tom ford that i bought in my previous videos so i'm super excited to swatch this for you guys okay so before we actually get into swatching those uh, lipsticks, please, if this is the first time that you're watching my video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on Instagram at AngieBear. I will leave all of the descriptions or the links uh, in my description box down below but I will also be including the mechanics of my giveaway in my description box down below as well so that you can uh, read through how the giveaway will work and I will also put in the products or the sets that I will be giving away in my description box below so this time there will be six 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 yeah six different uh, gifts that I will be giving away at random all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel follow me on instagram at angie bear and in the comment box down below let me know that you have done both of those things and you'll be entered into the giveaway so i will be giving these prizes at uh, random but it includes some of my favorite products that I use and it is also in like travel kit size for you guys to try it as well. But of course, when you're trying new products, please just make sure that if your skin is sensitive to those products, to not use them. But if you have used those products and you love those products the same way that I do, please go ahead and join the contest and I will be sending these products out to you guys once the contest or the giveaway has ended. So once this video goes up, you will have two weeks to take Part in my little giveaway and everything all of the information will also be on my Instagram will also be in my description box so good luck okay so as with my previous video where I did my shopping in the premium outlets especially when it comes to like skincare or makeup today I will be swatching these lipsticks um, these are in the shade Paradiso Solar Affair and Sweet Spot so I feel like it is high time I swatch those for you. I also got the highlighting palette which I will just do a little very simple swatch on my hand. And other than that, the in the previous video, I also showed you guys that I bought the ISFF. ISSF. ISSF. It's such a tongue twister. And also this illuminator um, highlighter. So what I did was, in my makeup today, as you can see, I used these two together as my base and my foundation which I have been super super loving. Funnily enough, I finally managed to like find the right shade of the ISSF in the premium outlet so I just decided to buy this because this color is actually really expensive. And so, just going right into it, I will be swatching the first color. So this is actually... This is called Sweet Spot. Now, I feel so bad to like ruin the little like logo. If you can see that TF logo there, I'm so like scared to like ruin it, but I guess we we, we shouldn't be so like sayang lah. Okay, 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 okay. So I'm just gonna like swatch it here. So it looks like this. Actually, it feels kind of creamy in a moisturizing way but what I'm going to do also is to put it on my lips but basically this is how the shade looks like it's like a little pinkish corally kind of like color which I don't think I have um, this shade ever except for something similar which I would feel maybe it's like a one of the lip dips that I have which is called uh, peached kinda from on his face so let's just try this okay so first things first mm, it's really a personal preference I personally personally actually do not like um, lipsticks that 
are very wet or like very moisturizing something like this I actually don't really like how it feels and because my lips are not like the the fairest I have quite dark lips so it kind of feels like from from this so it kind of feels like from this angle it looks really nice but when I come closer you can see the creases actually yeah, you can sort of like see the crease on my lips and if I look really really closely, I can see like how the lipstick goes into the ridges of my lips which I really really don't super fancy but colour wise, I feel it's really really cute But in terms of the overall feeling, I think there is a reason why I prefer like matte lipsticks and this lipstick is not matte at all. But if you are someone who like loves those like wet look, I feel like it's perfect. It it feels okay for my skin tone as well. I think it's also based because of the lighting that I'm getting from the natural light of my windows, right? I look quite fair. But if I look at the mirror, it actually kind of matches my skin tone. Not too not too bad lah, but I won't be like, wow, I super love the, 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 the lipstick because I feel like the transfer alone also will like just irk me a lot. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove the lips and then I am going to try the other shade. Okay, this shade is called Solar Affair. So, before I put it on my lips, I'm just going to put it on my wrist. I actually feel like I can't really tell the difference. Can you guys tell? This one looks a little bit more coral. I think this one looks a little bit more pink. That's what I can see. But if I look at it from like my naked eye, I really can't see the difference in the shade. But it's okay. Let's just try to put it on my lips. Okay, so the same feeling that I'm getting, it's very wet which I don't really like. Mm. The colour is... Oh, no, I don't like the colour also actually. When I'm looking at the viewfinder, the colour looks really, really pink, which I don't like this kind of pink. I prefer a darker kind of pink. And it kind of makes my teeth look really extra yellow. It does though. And I can still see, similar to the first one that I tried, it's th I can still see like the ridges of my lips and I don't like that kind of feeling. Mm. Not sure. And I, I do feel like uh, I'm not very used to lipsticks in this kind of like shape, I guess. Like quite squarey kind of shape and because of like how like juicily wet it is. I didn't like the way it applied at all because again, I'm weird that way. I like uh, my lips looking dry and because I like my lips looking dry, it, it tends to like focus a lot on the ridges when I put the lipstick on. So I feel like normally for like matte lipsticks, it doesn't really show too obviously and because this one is so like hydrating, so like wet looking, it really accentuates like the ridges of like my dry lips. So I don't really like that, how it feels. But regardless, we'll just take it off and try the other one. Okay, so the last and final shade is called Paradiso and it looks a little bit darker. I'm hoping this kind of like darker pink will be something that I like but again I'm just gonna swatch it on my wrist first by this time like it's gonna be my arm anyway so yeah okay so this one looks like a very pink pink like a hot pink kind of pink um and I'm not sure how I feel about that because I don't normally or naturally like pink lipsticks but we will just try and we will see So while well, again, I don't like the... Actually, there's a certain taste to this which I also don't like. Although I don't like how wet it is, I feel like I can get behind this uh, colour. It looks okay if I put it on like lesser a little bit. Lah. So like not too heavy looking. I feel like it kind of sort of can match a little bit the colour of uh, my like the colour of like natural coloured lips. I don't know if that even makes sense but 
but I feel like uh, when I look at it in the mirror, it looks like, you know, when you eat like super spicy, like you eat Samyang noodles, right, which I cannot eat because it's so spicy, it makes like your lip like, like flare up a little bit and like a little bit bunka and a little bit red. It feels kind of like this with the colour. I think out of the three, this can be like the ones that I might use the most. But at the end of the day, I think how with the price that if you're going to pay the full price for this personally i feel it is not worth it at all i did not pay full price for these lipsticks obviously but will i ever buy lipsticks from tom ford again i don't think so because i really don't like how it feels this particular lipstick i feel is just too juicy for my own personal preference but regardless let's just swatch this um, highlighter for you guys so it looks like this here and if I'm gonna swatch it for you it looks like this right here yes let me just put it here a little bit so you can see So I actually really like how naturally, it's not too blinding the, the highlighter and I feel like it, the colour itself also looks quite natural for like those like glowy skin looks. So this one I like, I will use this. This one also I like because I match, uh, I mix it with my foundation and it make me like have like those glowy looking skin which I also super love. But unfortunately, at the end of the day, I don't think I really like any of the lipsticks. Uh, and my own lesson learned here is that actually, what I realized is that when I go for those like premium outlet sale or, or like those secret society sales where they have like big discounts, a lot of times when you go to the makeup section, a lot of sale items are the lipsticks. Now, I don't normally buy lipsticks during that those kinds of sale because I feel like the lipsticks might be like quite um, old and then you know like how your all the formulas will like basically just I don't know how to explain but because the, the makeup has been there for so long you don't know how it's going to wear how it's going to like um, be on your skin and whether there's like some kind of reaction because they have not sold those makeup in a very long time and I don't know why or what compelled me to like buy this but when I was at that sale because I already bought the those two highlighters from the premium outlet right, I thought like hey why not I just like buy these uh, Tom Ford lipsticks as well to try so if I would do this all over again if I could rewind the time I will not have bought the lipsticks because I don't think uh, buying lipsticks at a discounted price would be like the best idea because like right now I can smell the, the lipstick which I don't really like, like already and because of like the how it wears, I don't even think I will wear this ever again. I'm not sure but I kind of have a feeling I might not even wear this ever again. So lesson learned here guys, if you want to go like premium outlet shopping, you want to go for like those big big sales, stick to like at least my own personal opinion stick to like things that you can use uh, rather quickly things that you don't put on your lips where you can taste the product like don't don't spend your money on those kind of things like, buy other things that will be a little bit more worth your while so yeah that's just my own personal opinion but again thank you for watching my video if this is the first time that you're watching my video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel my giveaway is now officially open you can join my giveaway if you have any questions about any of the brands that I show or any of the products that I'm giving away please leave them in my comment box down below because I answer to every uh, comment and I'll see you in the next video bye bye